All right, so we're like, it just hit me that we're like a couple days away as I'm recording this video to ha Halloween, the actual holiday, not the movie and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while as I was processing Halloween ends and what how divisive people are on it, thinking it's the worst movie ever and whatever. And I'm thinking, um, I mean, like, I wanted to address what I feel is the weakest movies in the franchise and, like, with all the timelines crammed together. Like, um, and at the end of the day, I do find them, um, like, some, like, some parts of these particular movies watchable, some of them more so than others. But, and the overall, uh, ranking of, um, the franchise, I'm just going to point out what I feel are the weakest movies in the Halloween franchise. So I'll start off with, um, well, I gotta start off with uh, Halloween 3 Season of the Witch because, I mean, like, um, yeah, no, it knows, I, the movie knows what it, it wants to be, what it tries to do. It tries to stray away from Halloween and whatnot, and, and they don't even try to get near Michael Myers or any of that stuff. But um, as, when it stands on its own, which it does, it's, it's a decent movie. It's fine on its own, but as a Halloween movie, a part of the franchise, nope, nope. Um, it's a pretty, it's a weak, pretty weak movie, and as a Halloween movie in my ranking. Now the next week one is where we head over to the Thorn trilogy, and um, when I really think about it, um, I may have to say five. I mean, I didn't really think. Five was the like the weakest at first. I didn't think there was a weak movie in the Thorn trilogy at first, but when I look back on it years later, like yeah, five, eh, not quite as good as four, and and is not as good as uh, the Curse of Michael Myers. But the theatrical cut, the theatrical cut. Now, if we've gotten the producer's cut and they're just like, nope, that's the legitimate movie. That's it. Then that will be the weakest movie in the Thorn trilogy. Because, you know, you had Michael impregnating his niece and uh, being a, like a basically a, <laughs> a puppet for the cult and whatever. Where he's just staying around and whatever. And he gets like maybe two or three kills in. And then it's just like the Thorn cult telling him what to do and all that crap. I got, I mean, I'm just not, I'm not buying into that. I mean, and then he's like Uncle Dad, you know, like to Jamie's baby and blah, blah, blah. Like, oh. <laughs> now to the next one. Well... Need I say more? Halloween Resurrection. Uh, they took such a massive dump on a pretty good, a very satisfying ending to Halloween H2O. Like, it was a 20th anniversary movie. It was a good send-off. What could have been a good send-off for uh, Laurie Strode and Jamie Lee Curtis. But they were just like, ooh, look at these numbers. These are good. These are good. <laughs> let's make another one. Let's, say, let's continue from, where, from there. Since it did so well, let's continue from there. Like, I mean, there are um, things I did like in that movie that did better than H2O. Like, the soundtrack in Resurrection is way better than H2O. And the Michael Myers portrayal is way better in that movie than it is in H2O. But everything else is just, nah. <laughs> Resurrection is garbage. <laughs> Freaking garbage. And then we got the Rob Zombie movies. Like, I thought the first one was solid. Yeah, I can see how them, you know, like, cursing and it all, like, having, you know, Michael having a messed up wife and then saying, oh, so we're giving him motivation, so that's why he's killing people. Blah, 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 blah. I can see why that can be unbearable, and then we get what we're expecting from a Halloween movie, and and it, the rest of the movie was fun. It was pretty awesome to watch, like, when he's an adult, and he has some pretty cool kills when he was a kid, but when we head over to part two... Ooh, I mean, like, that that hospital scene was really awesome, by the way. That was really awesome. And I feel like the theatrical ending was a better ending in comparison to the director's cut ending. But, yeah, like, it's a weak movie. I mean, like, it, it it's just all over the place. And Loomis is a total, total asshole. And, um, and yes, I do, like, one of the better parts of the movie is where we see how it's Lori's movie and how that night affected her and how it's messing with her and how damaged she is and um but still the movie i don't know i mean i just uh i mean like it's a little too different for its own good though i mean 
I mean, it's watchable in comparison to the director's cut, but uh, it's 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 weak. It belongs in this in my list of weak Halloween movies. And then we're over to the 4-0 Blumhouse trilogy. I really had to think long and hard about that because I really loved the 2018 sequel and I stand my ground and I really enjoyed Halloween Kills. I'm standing my ground on that. I mean, there could they could have made some changes with that and stuff. And yeah, yeah, but... And then we have Halloween Ends. Like, um... You know, like, I'm more on the positive end, but I would have been like, okay, uh... I would have... There's a, quite a bit of changes I would have made to that movie. But that's where... Like, uh, I don't, like, I didn't want to put it there because I did really enjoy how it concluded. Like, okay, at the end of the day, did, was the ending good? I feel like it was really good. But, uh, it's on my list of weak Halloween movies. Uh, I just had to put it there because in comparison to those three movies in the trilogy, that's the weakest one. And then everything else was pretty strong. But, you know, like, all three of them, I mean, like, I did like. But I loved, you know, 2018 in Kills. And then Ends, I kind of bounce back and forth when I watch it. But when I get to that ending, to that final battle, I'm like, oh, I love it. Love it. But, um, yeah. Like, that's those are the movies I feel that are the weakest ones in the franchise. And... Feel free to tell me which ones you think is the weakest ones in the franchise. Maybe the ones that I felt didn't need to be there. Maybe you felt like, okay, this one is worse than that one. <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, feel free to tell me in the comment section. And um, if you agree with me, what up, you know, let me know. But yeah, um, I'm probably going to do another video on Halloween ends and just sort of touch base on other stuff that I did notice. Because I do want to talk about it before we get to the actual holiday. But um, until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So uh, take care, guys, and have a fun Halloween. I know this is Halloween weekend as I'm recording this video. So, yeah, have a blast. You know, get dressed up. You know, go crazy. And, um, yeah, um, man, I'm, I'm sad that it, this October is almost over. It really depresses me. <laughs> really depresses me because it's been a really good October. But, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace out.